So I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I thought I'd put it here so maybe it'll reach um, more and more people because it is something that is a pretty big deal concerning me, you guys, and the channel. So as you guys may or may not know, Darko is hosting a charity livestream on April 6 where he is giving away a Oculus Rift or a HTC Vive or a PlayStation VR, I don't know, but long story short, I don't have a VR headset. So what I'm hoping is to get a group of people in this community to be there with me to represent the channel and hopefully we can win a VR headset so that we can play Help Wanted on the channel. Because if we don't, then my channel is going to take a really big hit. And I honestly don't want that. Hopefully you guys don't want that as well. Um, so yeah, I always hate asking for this. But it would mean the world to me if you guys would be there April 6th. I don't know what time and I don't know how he's going to select who gets a... Um, who gets a headset, but it would honestly be amazing to see the Johnny Box community unite as one and help us win a um, a headset so we can play Help Wanted on the channel. Like I said, I don't know how he's going to select winners, but just being there and, I don't know, maybe t like typing in chat, be just like, um, Johnny Box wants a VR headset. Again, I don't know how it's going to work, he'll probably explain it there, but, of course, a big percentage, nearly 100% of my com community is here for FNAF, so, and because of that, I'm thinking a lot of you guys watch Darko anyways, so not only will you be watching the live stream supporting Lewis, and you'll also be there helping me win a headset, because Lewis already has one, and I don't, so... It would just be absolutely amazing for you guys to be there and try to help us win a headset so that we could we can play Help Wanted because I really want to play it. It looks absolutely amazing, and if I don't get one, then we we can't play it. So yeah. Anyways, let's get on to the video. April six. If you can be there and help out, thanks. Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Virtual Reality Help Wanted News video. We have gotten loads of information, it's actually getting really hard to keep up with all the news because there's so much. We've now got a possible release date, we have a possible price for the game. It was, um, people were able to play it at PAX East over here in America, so we've got footage from there. And we've also got teasers we need to look at. It's just, there's so much here. It's unbelievable. But anyways, since there's so much, let's not waste any time besides that opening monologue for three minutes. I apologize for, <laughs> I apologize for its length. But let's just get into, let's just jump into it, guys. Let's jump in. <laughs> or oh, whatever. So first, we have a article written by Variety. Uh, it's titled, Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted Features More Detailed Frights. They have the trailer here, but in the text, they have a lot of information. Um, it's most frightening the first time. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And I'll see you... No, I'm just kidding. That's not it. Um, they have, like, opinions and stuff. And then, if we go down farther... Um, take on the creepiness, yep, 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 I, I actually gotta find it, I can't remember where it is. Um, oh, let me find it. Soon all of the Five Nights games were in the VR experience, and then they started adding a few new experiences. So, right off the bat, we know that every single FNAF game, um, at least I'm thinking canon-wise, is going to be in Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Obviously, we already know that FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, and Sis location are going to be in there. We don't know about FNAF 6, but based on this, I have a 
feeling it's going to be in there. I don't know why they haven't teased it if it is. But anyways, um, then they have our internal development team came up with some ideas and then we ran it by Scott, Brett said, shut up phone. <laughs> We've eventually developed this fully featured 40 plus minigame version that would be that that I would describe as the best of five nights. So, um, 40 plus minigames in in this one game. In this one, it's speculated to be like 20 to 30 dollars. In this one 20 to 30 dollar game, you have all the FNAF games. You have 40 plus mini games. You have lore. We're getting to that eventually. But it's just, it's unbelievable. Um, let me find the part where they talk about lore. Uh, let me find it. Hold on. This isn't it, but it says the demo showed shown off at PAX East this week features three of those mini games. The first is the classic Five Nights at Freddy's experience, where you play as a god sitting in a room with cameras trying to keep an eye on the road the roving animatronic so they don't murder you. The game features new animations because the development team realized that the original motion, which essentially had the characters sliding down hallways, looked more funny than frightening in VR. They also built out of the idea uh, the, that the models <laughs> to enhance how friendly they are. So, they just, um, uh, they, they upped their ante. There's now fully fledged animations for the characters moving around and they upped the ante for the models, now they look so much more frightening. The goal of the game, the goal of the game, excuse me, is to survive the night, looking one or locking one or both of the doors to your office at the right moment to both prevent your death, but also to preserve the slowly depleting energy. All right, now let me find <laughs> the actual part where they talk about. Ah, here it is. After playing through the included mini games and surviving. Players can go through them again in a sort of nightmare mode, which cranks up the difficulty and distraction in every game. Beat that, and players are treated to an end game, which Brett says adds to the lore of the FNAF world. So, um, this to me sounds like Custom Night, where the gameplay is going to be different to any other FNAF game you've seen, obviously, because it's in VR, but... I'm also sticking with my fact that the gameplay, the main gameplay of Help Wanted is not canon at all. Simply because, and I feel like I've said this so many times, the animatronics and locations of FNAF cannot exist all at the same time. It just, it can't happen. Fazway Freight burns down, Pizza Sim burns down, you know, uh, FNAF 1 and 2 close, you know, all that stuff. So it can't be canon. I am sticking, no one can change my mind, main gameplay is not canon, but there will still be lore within the minigames and at the end of the difficult modes. And finally, at the end, we have one more interesting thing that says, um, Scott wants to make another Five Nights, hopefully with us in the future, Brett said. I'm not sure if he wants to do another VR game, though. So, there is... Scott is speculating whether or not to make yet another FNAF game with Steel Wool, whether it be VR or not, we will just have to wait and see. The game, which will likely be released in April or May, we're getting to that, it is speculated to release on April 30th, but that's just speculation, um, for somewhere in the $20 to $30 range, is coming to PSVR, Oculus Rift, HTC Vibe, and if the studio has its way, perhaps the Oculus Quest. Shut up, phone! Alright, next up we have a video taken by someone from um, PAX East, which, by the way, if you are there, send in your videos of you playing FNAF VR so we can get even more gameplay features. We It even stated in this article that three out of the 40-plus minigames are playable over at PAX, Unfortunately, PAX is about to end. I think it ends on the 31st, which for me is tomorrow. So, <laughs> sorry if you're not there. I really wish I could go. Anyways, let's react to the video. Uh, so, I'm going to do something kind of like... I'd, actually, this video is pretty long, so I'm actually going to just analyze it as we go along. 
So this is the main menu screen. As you can see, it's got Help Wanted above it, Pull Trigger to Start, Copyright 2019, Scott Cawthon, All of Rights Reserved, Steel Wool Studios. We've got the three animatronics behind us, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. And that is the Start menu, it looks like. Ah, no. Here is the Start menu. That looks like Help you up there. Choose a level. Um, as you can see here, it only has three because, like it said in the article, only three out of the 40 plus minigames are going to be available. I don't know how they're going to fit 40 plus minigames on that tiny screen though. Uh, let's see, so they are going to do... Don't know which one that is? Five Nights at Freddy's. Push the button, survive until 6am. Alright, yeah, so they are doing a survival minigame. What's next? Pretty long loading screen, but obviously. It's a VR game. Ah, so this is the FNAF 1. Do we have the original FNAF 1 phone calls? He's actually holding it up. That's cool. Yeah, so this is the FNAF 1 uh, location. So you got your cameras here. This monitors how you see your cameras. Pick up the phone, listen to phone guy. You got your clock here and your power percentage there. And the cupcake, obviously. Can't eat the cupcake. Okay, that is not day two. He was on. He's on night one. Alright, they've become more active. We've heard that. I don't want to skip ahead because I don't want to miss anything. Did he ever go to the kitchen? Let me. Let me look. Because we've seen the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> He's like, hello? It's throwing around. That's the bathroom. No. Not the kitchen, not the kitchen. He did! Oh, the kitchen camera is still unavailable in FNAF VR. That's crazy, though. So there's the lights. Showing off the lights, still showing off the cameras. The light stays on, which is interesting. So you manually have to turn it off. Uh, yeah, so there's the doors. Closing the doors animation. Closing the doors again. And it looks like someone was in the hallway. I didn't really see who that was. Let me go back a bit. That looks like... Uh, it's, it's really hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell who that is, but based on what camera he was on... Oh, Foxy's about to emerge from, from his curtain. You can hear the characters walking around as well. Oh, so you actually see Bonnie walk up to your door. Holy crap, can we get a replay on that? So you see Bonnie physically walk up to your door. Uh, they also, uh, like I said in the article, they do have robotic movements. Instead of just like walking around, sliding up over the floor, you actually see them move. Very robotically, which I love. Chica there, moving again. Standing outside the door, staring up at the camera. So, hey, look at this, Fred. Look, look at this chicken trying to get into my office. The door's closed. What a silly, silly chicken. Are we going to be able to see Chica? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, so you can hear Freddy's jingle. I'm not sure what that guy said back there. Whoa, whoa. All right, so he actually got jump scared by Foxy there. So Foxy runs up to your door and attacks you. All right, I'm gonna get that in slow motion. 
Yeah, but that's crazy. Seeing the characters moving around you instead of just standing there stationary like we do in FNAF 1 is going to be insane. Alright, yeah, so let's watch this very closely. Oh, wait, my camera's in the way. Let me move it. Alright, so very slowly. Look at that. Holy crap, man, that is an awesome jump scare. You died. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Are you okay? Excuse me, sir. Did that startle you too much? You wanna try another one? Sure, why not? We, wait, you can actually hear the FNAF 6 um, night completion music for some reason. Maybe that's the main menu music. Are you okay? Da, 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 you wanna try another one? Sure, why not? Ah, man, I wanted to see the screen, homie. Alright, yeah, so he... Fox, what? Watch out for the fox, yo. What? Hey, watch out for the fox, yo. That's a tip for everyone playing up. Um, he just threw the, he threw the phone out the door. Oh my god, this guy's awesome. Is he a YouTuber? You've got to be a YouTuber. Alright, yeah, so there's all the characters on stage. And now my face cam is in the way again. I gotta move it yet again. Nothing interesting will ever happen down in this corner. Alright. So, you got the characters up there. He threw the phone, yet somehow can still hear a phone guy. The guy's like, ah, shoot, I gotta do more of this crap. He's kinda just sat there, just staring at the cameras. Is there a way to turn the cameras off? Cause then it'll just continually use power. Oh uh, look, chicken moved again, Fred. Oh, silly duck. I just called it a chicken, but I'm gonna, it, it's totally a duck. I'm an expert on chickens and ducks. Foxy's song. Foxy's song is in the game. That's awesome. Chica again. It's like Bonnie's in the hallway, that looks like. There's no um, space for Golden Freddy to appear, so I don't know whether or not he's going to be in this game. At least the FNAF 1 game. Whoa! He's like, nah fam, I don't like that. Was that... Bonnie just walking past his door. Holy crap. This is gonna be so scary. Oh, shit. There's Chica right there as well. Watch your language person in the background. Did someone just throw a piece of paper at the TV? <laughs> Alright, yeah, so they're both there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Foxy's running again. You can hear Foxy banging on the door. That's a weird noise. I don't know if that was the game or something outside. Yo, bro, what are you doing? Watch your jet. Bro, watch your jet. I guess that. Man, that guy, is that, I was about to say, it looks like he's about to run out of power. Uh-oh. He's alone in the dark. There's a light. Reach out for the light. Oh, no. You can tell based on the way he's looking, Freddy is slightly above you. Uh oh. Show the screen! Show the screen! It plays a second time? What the hell? Nice space invader show it. Ah, uh, he didn't show the screen, bro. Yeah, so it looks like the FNAF 1 minigame is basically just a recreation of FNAF 1. Except it's a lot more advanced, you know, you got actual animations with the characters moving around You've got new jump scares, all the characters are like rushing past your door, especially Foxy 
that's going to be nerve-wracking. When you lose power, Freddy plays his jingle, and then he jump scares you. So, yeah, it just looks like a recreation of FNAF 1, just in VR, which is going to be absolutely terrifying. Anyways, we have more stuff um, to look at over on Reddit. That's where I'm going to go, and we also have one thing. It might be on Reddit, but if it's not, I can go find it on Twitter. Help me in the level select screen. New gameplay video for FNAF 1 level. We just watched that. Um, concerned help me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, looks like we have a lot of coming in the real life with the movie industry. I've seen this. I'm going to open it up anyways. Um, uh, this is a picture from PAX East. My favorite FNAF theory. Nope, so mad Pat. Yeah. Yeah. If this is coming out before the, what do you call it, the FNAF uh, game theory, then that is coming shortly after this, if it hasn't already come out before that. Ha um, about that, I don't know um, what that is, but we're going to open it up anyways. VR nonsense, nope, my FNAF timeline is doing really soon. Here's what I learned from FNAF trailer. I guess we can take a quick look at that. And... Um, people can't buy FNAF in Australia, that's kind of weird. April Fools, yeah, this looks to be it, maybe? Hopefully? I, we do have more FNAF Help Wanted teasers I want to take a look at, but those, I can just do a quick uh, Google search on those. So this we saw in the video we just watched, it's Helpy, and then you have the three levels that were available at PAX. Um, nothing we haven't seen already. Um, looks like we have a lot coming in the future. This I just want to show off because it is um, talking about upcoming installments to FNAF. We have the short stories, which we have news on, which hopefully I'll have a video out soon about that. Because <laughs> it came out like last night. Unknown amount of future short stories coming maybe soon. Actually, the short story collection... Is coming like December 26th this year, if you didn't know. Um, book lectures, 28, 2018, yeah, yeah. Uh, the movies are to be announced, the real life attractions, the Fright Dome, that was 2016, and then Five Nights at Freddy's The Ride is to be announced. I don't know what the ride is, maybe like a roller coaster or something. Non canon studio games, uh, FNAF VR, Spring 2019, maybe April 30th, but we don't know. Um, augmented reality and unnamed FNAF title, which is FNAF Into Madness, or maybe the AAA game, actually, I think that's what it's referring to, all coming this year. Next up, a friend of mine snapped this picture. It is Chica looking through the FNAF 1 doorway, and that is not FNAF, at least I don't think so, but that's awesome, we've seen that. About this, I don't know what that is. Oh, right, I, I've, I have seen that. <laughs> um, holy crap. Alright, as a digital media student and a VR AR developer, here's what I learned from the FNAF Help Wanted trailer. Um, yep, yep, yep. I'm so used to VR point of view and VR development. Yeah, yeah. I found it interesting that the footage from the FNAF 1, 2, 3 um, locations, chicas, are shaped as a point of view, as a, yeah, of a normal human adult, eye level, something, something. Approximately 6.6 .6 between 6 through 8 meters high. However, the FNAF 4 location isn't following the patterns at all. Both Baby and Nightmare Freddy are seen above a smaller person, maybe a child. Um, you'll definitely feel that you're not playing as an adult there. It makes me think the baby dolls are too... Two hour left aren't working against us, but they might have the same mechanics as the Freddles. <laughs> they call them Fredlings, but they're called Freddles on the band of FNAF 4. In this scene, I'm also sure that the scene with Mango is related to the child re rather than the adult. The ventilation opening is way too small for the adult that we're playing as. However, it fits just the ch child's point of view. FNAF, yeah, yeah, whatever. So, that's just like dimensions of characters, which that is pretty interesting. And I just realized we're nearly at half a million, uh, half of 100k subscribers on the FNAF Reddit. This is where I get basically all the information from FNAF go so go follow it anyways we have one more thing that I'm pretty sure I can find over on Steel Wool Studios Twitter account so this is Steel Wool Studios the creator um, of the 
VR game help wanted. This is their Twitter account. Definitely go follow them. They are doing an absolutely amazing job on help wanted. They will they have released a few images, which this it doesn't look like anything too special. It's just the Freddy mask. But the one below it, work hard and be nice. You can see someone walking on something in the background, and there have actually been people. Let me see if I'm going to be able to find it. No, don't reply to them. Um, God, how do I, uh, I, I, no, hold on. I, ready, ready, awesome, wait for it. Here it is. What's that man walking on? It looks like, I wish I could zoom in. I can zoom in. Look at me using my laptop touchscreen ability. I always forget I have this. Um, if you take a close look, and take a really close look, I don't, I'm, I'm, don't know if Help Wanted is the only game um, Steel Wool is making, but to me and to basically everyone in the community that has seen this image, this looks like a ultimate custom knight. Oh, not an ultimate custom knight. Whoa, hold on. Ultimate custom knight 2 confirmed. This just looks like a custom knight menu screen where you up when you increase or decrease a character's difficulty. So whether or not this means that there was going to be a custom night in Help Wanted, we don't know, seeing as it's really hard to tell what it is. Of course, it looks like just that. It's kind of hard to depict who's in it. This right here to me looks like the puppet, but everything else seems kind of vague. I don't know. Nobody knows besides Scott and people working at Steel Wool, but that is the image so also um pay no attention to the man behind the curtain who is it, this man we must find that man um i have the most important question of the world. do you honk footies or someone else who knows in the fnaf VR game the community needs to know maybe just maybe yeah <laughs> so this this image has been probably one of the most important images in the help wanted history because how do you do a custom night in VR? Obviously, they're going to find a way to make it work, but this is a PNG. And I don't know much about... Actually, I don't know anything about ba making a VR game, but that's just a PNG. If anybody out there knows if you can just put a PNG into a VR game and make it work, then tell me. But who knows whether or not it's going to have a custom night. That is just for us to wait and find out on. Hey, look, it's you. Anyways, <laughs> getting sidetracked. Funny story. So I'm actually editing this video right now, and I forgot to take a look at these teasers. And I just didn't really want to make another video dedicated to these teasers. So I thought I would just put it in here because it was my original idea to showcase them in this video. But I ultimately forgot, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go in for another quick session of recording and just quickly analyze them. So the first one, um, this is just on Imager, I'll leave it linked down below. Um, this one is a picture of the FNAF 1 office with Chica in the dining room. This is <coughs> um, the FNAF 1 bath. No, this is the um, FNAF 3, um, one of the hallways. What is that, Cam? I think that might be Cam 4 or like Cam 9, but yeah, this is FNAF 3 showing off the um, cameras for the actual building and not the vents. Those are going to appear on this monitor. The FNAF 3 spring trap over here with a coffee vending machine, apparently. Um, this is the tablet that you use to, uh, it's the maintenance panel where you reboot all your electronics. The puppet jump scale, which looks absolutely un incredibly awesome um this is actually the fully colored um version of the secret teaser that we saw in the first help wanted teaser back when it was all like black and white and static and all that so this is baby uh this is toy freddy peering in through the doorway from fnaf 2 this is when we are getting all the cockroaches off of chica we're spraying the toxic mist to get rid of them this is where we take out Bonnie's eyes, and this we've already seen with Freddy's shoe inside of him. And then the last one is just the puppet just nonchalantly walking down the FNAF 2 hallway, as you do. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's all of them. Again, I'll leave this link down below so you guys can take a look at them. They're pretty cool. They actually reveal a lot about the game and what it's going to be about. So, yeah, I'm not going to go into full detail with these. A, because we've either seen them already and have analyzed the heck out of them, and B, just so that you guys can have your own ideas, because like I said, they are linked below! There you go, guys, a bit more information on Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. My hood is feeling a bit weird. Um, it's honestly getting, I said this at the start of the video, but it's getting really, really hard to keep up with all the news, but, you know... I gotta do it somehow, and the Reddit is really, really helping me out, so definitely go follow r slash Five Nights at Freddy's, it's the, it's the subreddit for FNAF, it's down, it's linked down below, and basically if you're a super fan of FNAF and you want to keep up to date with all the news, and, you know, because I miss some things, Darko misses things, Fusion misses things, MadPat misses things, everyone misses things, but if you really, really, really want to know a whole lot more about about Help Wanted and FNAF in general, definitely go follow the subreddit. It is really, really helpful. So thank everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.